Hello and welcome to the Build with Bear Workshop. My name is Pat Bear. I'm here to build a model kit and of course to hang out with all of you. I'm going to go ahead and throw the bear cave, the Lego, the site, the emote in chat. If you're currently a subscriber, you can reply with those emotes. If you're not a subscriber, you can just say hi, use someone else's emotes, or you can continue to lurk in the shadows and not comment and just watch. That's okay. That's fine. I'm a lurker in most things. I belong to several discords that I read things and take information in and then I don't say anything. That's my style. Uh, we got uh, Ying Dark saying, hey, Pat. Hey, Ying Dark, welcome. Happy to have you here on the old Billwood Bear. Uh, of course, we got Lashbrook in the chat. Love to see you, Lashbrook. Welcome, welcome. Uh, we're waiting to see if a few more friends want to join us tonight. I'm also going to... Yeah, all right. I think I'm about lined up where I want to be. Uh, Aris fan says, happy Monday. Happy to Monday to you as well. It is a Monday night, um, for me anyway. And uh, we're going to work on a model kit. Uh, the ground gu the gundam ground urban combat type it's just it just rolls off the tongue this thing we did the upper half here uh, or i did i did um and i got my feet here i usually uh, i i usually do in D, D, but here i am well nice yeah i mean you know, you know some people stick this up end of the year everything's in flux right now end of the year people just got other things going on some people are on vacation some people are away some people are working i work tonight we'll talk about that i think that'll come up conversation i can give you a preview of the evening um we'll talk about uh hey lord crashington welcome i'll talk a little bit about the uh customer service work that i did tonight or today i should say um talk about our risk of the year plans uh maybe you're gonna be looking forward to the next year and um I want to get into this, I think, up top. We'll talk about it once we go into the overhead as well. Um, uh, this weird thing of like, when you try to make one thing, but you end up with a different thing. And it's it's interesting to me. Um, so uh, I'll, I'll retweet my tweet, then we'll get into the overhead. It gets a building. I'll start working on the waste of this kit while I talk about this. Um, what, I, what I'm trying to say here. Uh, so let's go to the overhead. There we go. And you can see what we've got working on here. Uh, our friend here. So we'll put that aside for a little bit over here while we work on the waist. And I'll tell you what I'm talking about. So if you've been to conventions of a nerd variety, um, or if you, you know, you have friends and in the before times when you visit with your friends and you play tabletop games with them, um, uh, D and D and, and, you know, other, other games as well, you know, pen and paper or just, you know, whatever, um, you may be familiar with Wormwood Gaming, uh, Wormwood, the makers of wooden furniture that is for gamers uh, of the tabletop variety but it is meant to be cool and look great um uh, especially at conventions you'll see you go like oh those are the folks that make cool gaming shit that is seemingly incredibly expensive not all of it is like their dice towers are actually pretty reasonably priced considering the work that's put into it um uh, uh last week says i got a couple of them of their mtv uh, mtg deck boxes yeah they do deck boxes and they do uh, uh dice towers and dice trays their dice trays are great um i have a couple of them in new york in storage um but they do a lot of work now uh you may just you may be somebody that just has bought them or you've seen them at convention you know people that have their products you know their niche you might even know they, they've been known to do a kickstarter or three uh and that's how they uh they do a lot of like we want to do this project to ramp production. We need to put it on Kickstarter, raise a bunch of money, and then we can start making the product. And then maybe we'll be, have enough to continue operation of, of said projects. But they, they, they go for that business model, that particular uh, style of, of, uh, of business, uh, which is you know pretty popular today. But they're on a large scale. We're talking like millions of dollars raised via Kickstarter uh, that then mostly goes into production and of course uh paying employees and all that um and I, i've known something about them for for quite some time like again in my mind it's like oh that's the stuff that looks cool and i'll check it out at a convention uh but is outside my price range for the major stuff the furniture the chairs the tables the mod even the modular ones like 
oh, that's some cool shit. And oh, they use a lot of magnets, inlaid magnets, and oh, that's neat. Now, you might not know this, but they have a YouTube series on their YouTube channel called uh, Worm Life. And it's spelled like you would think it, it's spelled not like worm and not like life. Uh, you know, they got to be, they got to go for it. They got to go with the branding and all of that. And it's a, it's a, it's a many headed beast because on the, on all of it is, is social media engagement and marketing, right? You know, you know that going, you should know that going in, right? You're going to see like behind the scenes stuff. You might learn something about production. You might get to hear some rants about what's going on, uh, especially since this, this video series has been pre continuing pandemic because it's we're not post pandemic but we are in in the pandemic in different phases of the pandemic and you get to see that and that's kind of interesting from a documentary standpoint right but it's production uh it's we want to get this on film we want to we want to edit this we want to show this we're going to show some production stuff we're going to show you like we're going to tease some stuff that we're coming out with things like that right these are all going to be there we're all going to see that stuff we all get that right but also it is, and the, the way I describe this, this particular um, uh, 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 series is they want to be Ace of Cakes, but they're really producing Orange County Choppers. In that, Ace of Cakes is, uh, all right, drop the piece here. Um, Cakes of Cakes is about food. They do food stuff. They do big projects, small projects. They make crazy cakes. And the best part of Ace of Cakes, along with a lot of other reality shows, is the people that work there. You get a personal connection with the people that are there on camera because they are not actors. They are real people. And often, uh, they are interesting people. Um, like uh, uh, Pawn Stars. Uh one of the employees that you see on that show is not a Pawn Star employee. Or, or he's not a, a employee of that Pawn Star. He is paid. Uh, he is a friend. Good evening, Dirty. He is a friend of a, one of the employees there that would show up a lot and was interesting and became a fan favorite. So A&E was paying for him to be there as a character in that world. So, like, character is really important for a lot of reality shows. So in this one, it's not a reality show, but but it is a produced show. You know, it's for YouTube. It's still produced. Uh, you would imagine that it would be character-driven. And so you've got your, like, co-founders there. You've got your, like, social media people. You've got, like, anyone interesting that the audience responds to. You're going to, like, check in with them. And there's so there are a bunch of episodes that are dedicated to, like, hey... On this, on a previous uh, Worm Life, you mentioned how you 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 m used to make whips for the BDSM community, and you would teach whip usage. Hey, talk more about that because people were fascinated. Like, and so then for the next couple or, or another video, there'll be a dude because it's a real thing from that that'll be like the main star, uh, you know, this person, or like, hey. Why is this one employee, why is he call himself Crazy Ed? Why does he blow up pumpkins with small ammunitions? What's up with this fucking dude? And like explore that and make whatever you can out of that, right? Um, big thing of that dude was he made a particular thing that people bought raffle tickets for to help pay for his wedding. And then it was a Halloween themed wedding. And of course, that was an episode of the thing was them filming at this wedding, this Halloween themed uh, co costume wearing wedding on Halloween in the woods. Uh, and people were like, yeah, we're going to go film that because of course you would like that's that's kind of what they're trying to do. Right. But what you end up seeing, especially in this pandemic era, is it's not just, hey, this is what we're working on. Hey, this is what's coming out new. They're also trying to document like the highs and lows and the employees or the employers. 
So you get an episode of Worm, Worm Life where the CEO resigns from being CEO and another person becomes CEO who is an employee, who, you know, is a founder there. And he just becomes like a dude working on projects. And it's that thing where it's a thing where it's just like, why was that filmed? And what are we looking at? And that's where I say why it's like Orange County Chop. It, um, uh, reality shows uh, that are based on a, a business, business-based reality shows go through phases where it becomes about how the people who are there are now famous to a degree. And it becomes about them and about how they are and how they're relating to the show that exists. It goes from, hey, this is a, this is like a father and son who have reunited after being estranged for many years and they're both opinionated guys and they uh, they make custom motorcycles to these famous guys who make who have a famous place where they make famous motorcycles are going to keep doing that but then they're also going to go like skydiving and they're going to like race race indie cars and do all this other stuff and they're making a bike for snoop dogg I don't know if Orange County Shoppers ever made a bike for Snoop Dogg, but you just, that's something, but if I told you that, you wouldn't go, you wouldn't fact check it. You would just believe me that they made a custom motorcycle for Snoop Dogg. Like, that's just a thing that you would believe because it feels right, right? So that's kind of what we're seeing, so what, because I've been binging this, right? They're short episodes, right? They're like, there's a bunch of them. It's kind of interesting to see a small business deal with the realities of the pandemic uh they made bikes for blizzard in wow themes yes exactly dirty um it's kind of interesting to see this business it's really interesting to watch a company uh work from home where they sent out projects and they were very small um to everyone's back to months in 2000 the year 2020 where like nobody was fucking wearing masks and you're like these fuckers don't have the vaccine there's no way these fuckers have the vaccine yet. What's going on here? Into like 2021 when they're like, everybody's got to wear masks. We get, we're fucking up. Like, there is an episode where a member, uh, a uh, inspector from OSHA comes. And the reason that OSHA is there is because this guy was told by someone, you should watch these videos this seems like unsafe working conditions which they are uh like literally it's big enough that people are paying attention like people in municipal government uh and like and agency government agencies are like hmm this seems wrong what's going on with you guys um and when i when i talked about the ceo like quitting that's the part where i'm like Oh, y'all are trying to build something more than just this is a place where people spend a lot of money to buy quality products produced in the United States, which to some people is incredibly important and, and a huge thing, right? This is like they got a factory uh, in Massachusetts. They got one in Pennsylvania. They make stuff. They ship it out. That's their focus. They, you know, they get component stuff, materials like felt and stuff you know, cut in China, but then they assemble a machine in the U.S. That is very important for a lot of people. Um, and it's like, yeah, this makes sense. But like, the, they're definitely trying to build like, like a, like they're a company that cares. They don't care what people are saying on the Discord, but they do care that people are talking on the Discord. Like that's the kind of thing, right? And it is interesting because it doesn't feel super filtered. Like you shouldn't, there shouldn't exist a video that you can watch on YouTube where the current, at the time, CEO of the company or CEO of the company, I should say, uh, resigns. Now, he resigned in part because he clearly wasn't happy in his position 
as being the guy that's doing all the stuff. He wants to work on projects. He wants to work on bigger things. Very clearly, he was not interested in the day-to-day -day problem solving. Also, very clear, like, oh, he started this business, but, like, this is becoming a corporation and not a startup. And the transition from startup to corporation is rough for people. But the, the reason he gives for I need to step aside is 18 people in the company of like 65, 70 were willing to put their names on a document that said, we feel unsafe. We do not like your business. We do not like the way you run this company. These are things that we would like to change. And that they, as a group, they felt comfortable doing that. And then there are certainly other people who didn't feel comfortable signing their name. But the idea that 18 people were like, hey, I have some issues with what's going on here. We'd like an HR department, please, was enough for him to go, hmm, there are problems that need to get solved. And I don't want to be the person that does that. And it's like, well, then yeah, man, I don't think you're the boss then. I don't think you need to be the boss. And it's like, I shouldn't know that about Doug. I should, I should maybe know the name Doug, that Doug is one of the co-founders of uh, Wormwood Gaming and that he's like out there and doing stuff and like m coming up with projects and he's the loud mouth guy. Like maybe I should know that. I probably don't need to, but I definitely fucking don't need to know that uh, Doug really didn't want to deal with like getting HR and having like, like employee feedback in that way and he was like this place is changing it's like i shouldn't know that about doug um and and i do also think that i am uh i am putting some of my own experiences my own like stuff i haven't worked all the way through in um that i am also placing that at um uh from my own life into this of like his resistance to well one you know hey it's going to cost me 200 to 300 thousand uh, dollars to pay a fine per year to not offer health insurance but if i do offer health insurance and it, you know employees are going to have to pay me and they can't go out and do it themselves in massachusetts uh so either i pay a fine or we lose a bunch of money so that we can pay for people's health insurance. And I'm like, hey man, don't put that on YouTube. Like, what are we talking about here? What's happening right now? Uh, it's, it's a weird document. It's like a weird thing. Like, like the promotional side of it. Like, what it's trying to do i don't think it's successful in what it's trying to do in my opinion it's not successful in what it's trying to do because what it's trying to do is like make you feel an emotional attachment to these people so that you will spend more money on their products and i get that like that is the goal but instead i just think a lot of people that work for wormwood suck ass because some of the people that work there, the, pre the presentation they are giving to me, the, a possible consumer uh, of them, of their, of their uh, uh, you know, of their products is, well, some of these guys suck. Some people seem cool. Some people seem fucking rad. But some of these people seem like assholes. They seem like the kind of people that um, I realize as a 41 year old, I don't want to go into business with, um, last week says I follow them on Facebook because I bought stuff from them long enough that I still follow things on Facebook and you're making me glad I never interacted with any of that. So like their, their Facebook stuff, right? Like, it's just going to be like, Hey, we got Kickstarter. Hey, we got a new Kickstarter coming out. Hey, we're doing a Halloween thing. You know, like some of that stuff is probably like, you know, marketing they have a marketing department they're a company that's marketing product we're body complete by the way we just finished the waste here uh so now it's time to work on uh the backpack we got to work on that backpack but we have we are body complete we got backpack and weapons to build um but yeah i don't know I, it's fascinating i've watched a lot of their things excuse me a couple days because to me anyway it's been interesting to see this like 
weird like decision they're just like making a strange decision to like really put themselves out there and then for some instances i'm like this is a cool idea this is a cool decision to be like hey this is the stuff that's coming out hey we're working on this thing or like hey this is the project hey here are some of the people i mean you know these are artisans and crafters and like some of the, like the company they buy in um uh in pennsylvania they take over a company there well there's going to be some mennonite people that work in that building uh, they're going to be, uh, you know, uh, some Pennsylvania Dutch that work there that are old school craftsmen. And like, how does that culture shift go? And it's like, how do these people deal with the fact that they're going to a place where people are bummed out? These employers are swearing in, in the space. Like, there's some stuff that I'm like, oh, this is kind of interesting. Um, the back and forth. Uh, I knew about the Warm Life videos and the CEO resigning, which I never knew. It was just a bit for YouTube, but never watched. Yeah, so, like, here's the other thing, right? I don't fucking know if it's a bit or not. Because a heavy, a, a heavy bit of skepticism is good, right? So, like, is it, this is Doug, this is Doug being Doug, and, like, we're going to record that. And like everyone's cool with what's happening here, and if they wouldn't be, you wouldn't be seeing this. But but also like, are we playing this up? Are we playing up this all hands meeting where a dude is reading a prepared statement that he wrote on his phone about how he's leaving the company and like what he like and basically like giving a soft pitch of like why he's doing what he's doing? Is this real or not? And what? A, why am I watching it if it isn't? And why am I watching it if it is? Uh, and it's so. Which piece? Of it? Sorry. Uh, it's very strange. It's a very strange document of this company. And like I said, some of it's engaging and interesting, and some of it's like, oh, okay, I don't know. Um, but I've been watching a bunch of it, and it's like, I don't know kind of cool the stuff i like about it is the craftsman stuff right they're like hey we're building a uh, new modular dice towers that can like combine watch the process of that or like hey check out this cool machine that like puts the th they make chairs right they make wooden chairs for their desk sets or the table sets did you know that there is a machine an analog machine that puts those butt grooves in, in there like you can automate that. That's a fucking cool, weird, loud machine that I was like very interested to check out. But then it's like, all right, now we're going to go check out with this person who's not wearing a mask for some reason in year 2020. And we're like, and he's going to like talk, he's going to complain about like how expensive stuff is to buy. And you're just like, oh, okay. I don't give a shit about that, but all right. I don't know. It's a weird thing where I'm like, I don't know what this is. Uh, but yeah, the guy that wears a kilt to the office or to, to work and uses a whip in his personal life. Hell yeah, bring that guy out. Okay, cool, sure. All right, sounds great. But like, I don't know if I need a, a, to watch a meeting where the social media team talks about how they need to hire people uh, because everyone feels like they're drowning and i'm like i don't is this this feels like you're just trying to garner sympathy with me and i don't know why you're why we're do why are we doing this i don't know it's it's fascinating in its weirdness uh it's like self-produced it's just a strange bit of re of quote-unquote reality very strange very very strange because a lot of it i just feel is just well, like we're like i don't know what we're doing here i don't know what we're doing with any of this um i don't know uh i don't have a real point it's just like a thing that is kind of fascinating to me um because like for me it's just like oh yeah that's the company that makes stuff that like i'm never gonna buy a fifteen thousand dollar like or a fifteen hundred dollar table for gaming nah i'm good i'm never going to buy that like no I'm, uh that that's fine thank no thank you 
Uh, so it, to me, it's always just been like, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I got a couple of their dice trays. They're good dice trays. Um, or like there was a whole thing that they filmed that actually I think is great that it exists because it was nice to have like a thing where one of the, their social media, their big social guy, didn't understand why people were mad that they ran an art contest. They were like, hey, you know, you know, design these things that we're going to pick and we're going to make and you'll get the profits and blah, blah. And they were like, I just thought we were doing something cool for our community. Are the people that submitted stuff wrong? Should we be telling them they're wrong? It's like, and then the, this fucking the COO is just like, yeah, no, man, you don't get it. Making people work on spec is a thing that gets people to hate your business and your company. That's the kind of shit where people are like, oh, pay artists. Uh, it is defense. Big companies still do it a lot. Yeah, no, Yingdark. Here's the thing, right? Big companies will continue to do that. Huge corporations will continue to do that. And they'll get away with it. Small companies that do that lose customers because... You know, and even if it was somebody who is not a, was never going to be a customer, but then, like, if someone asked me about uh, Wormwood Gaming, I would say they got a weird YouTube series and they have a, a couple times run, tried to run art contests where they just, like, have people, like, make stuff on spec. And, like, there are people that if they hear that, that's it. I don't want to work with any company that does that. You pay artists. And they're like, well, then these people, we would never hire these people. And it's like, yeah, all right. But like, who are you going to go hire? You're going to go find some people. What you do is you say, if you want to do it this way, you go, hey, we're going to open up a, t a temporary channel on our Discord or the people that are on the Discord. Link to your samples. Give me your give me your portfolios here. Please link to your portfolios and the people in the community can see if you do commissions, list your rates, do that. And then you can go and look at portfolios and go, oh, this is someone we want to work with. This is someone we want to work with. This is somebody cool, right? Because that's what people who hire folks to make things do. Now, some people that have a large following just post a tweet on Twitter saying, hey, who's your favorite like artist that takes commissions? I got a project like link me or like, you know what, they'll just do that and make people, you know, send them stuff. But what you don't do is, hey, here's the email us your art and we might use it in something. Uh, and of course the bigger companies say, if you do send us anything, we own it anyway, um, which is, you know, obviously bullshit. But I don't know. It was just so weird to me that like, that's a lesson that people still need to learn. And you're just like, I thought I was doing something cool. And it's like, no, you're exploiting your audience. You are exploiting people, some of whom are happy to be exploited, which fucking sucks. It sucks so much that people are so happy to, to be exploited because they're so desperate. That they're, they'd be so happy if somebody, like, paid them a little, like, a tiny amount of money for their art. You know, because there are people who are just like, I do fan, they're like, oh, we, we, we didn't want this to be about artists. We want this to be about like fan artists. And it's like, well, fan artists are artists. Like, often people don't make the transition from I do art to I sell my art until like people who have been following for a while are like demanding they do it. You know, there's this like inherent like, oh, yeah, I mean, I, I you know, I don't really. Oh, I, you know, I just do this for fun. And people were like, no, I want this on something. I want a poster of this. Please let me get you, give you money. Because um, uh, some people don't believe in themselves enough. And then you get stuff like this, where just like, oh, no, I just love Wormwood. So, like, I don't care if they don't pick me. I, I would I would have done this anyway. And it's like, well, then just do it and put it on your Twitter. Uh, don't, don't send it to them. Uh, I don't know. It was, uh, that, that shit always bothers me. And I don't think it's ever not going to bother me because I just want all people to get paid for their work. I want people to do good work. I don't want anyone on spec 
ever awful. Um, going back a little bit, Will Away's, uh, the like startup into real thing culture. Like I was so happy when my company got an HR person and, you know, and the argument gets made, right? Oh, well, you know, if we're spending this amount of money on an HR person, then we're not, you know, that's no, that's not raises. That's not like raises that we could be making. And my argument, uh, my, my saying to that in any case is you weren't going to be making those raises. You just weren't like, yeah, you can allocate those funds other places, but you weren't going to make those raises. Uh, also, obvious, obviously, HR is not your friend as an employee. They are, they are, they are there for liability for the company. And HR does not work with you or for you in your favor. But a HR person is someone that you can, that hopefully, by attempting to limit liability, will have the added benefit the accidental benefit of making things easier for you because in an, in an attempt to uh, to uh, prevent future problems, they may nip current problems in the bud or work towards that, you know, uh, but they're not, they're not like the resource that some people make them out to be, but it's certainly nice to have corporate structure in that. Um, uh, and I can understand why someone was, yes, now union though. Yes. Oh, certainly. Ying Dark. The employees, the workers, uh, specific, specifically the craftspeople that work for Wood, Wormwood Gaming, uh, both in their Massachusetts and their Pennsylvania location, should 100% unionize. They 100% should unionize. Uh -huh, definitely. Uh, they definitely should. Um, because they should have guarantees and they should have, uh, they should have assurances and they should be getting the things that they need to be getting, uh, combining with other products sold separately. Oh, okay. So, so this kit, because this kit came with this, uh, this is the backpack holder for the large pack that's going to go on this, that contains all the weapons, uh, that goes like this and folds out like this. Um, this just fits right on here. But if I want to take this and put it on a different kit, if I want to put this on the backpack of a different kit, then I need an adapter. And that adapter is this piece right here. This piece right here is just, is one of the only new parts for this kit. And this adapter is going to go on other kits so that the backpack can sit on it. So I do need this, this adapter for when I have all of these or most of these, and I want to start doing, um, uh, I want to start like mixing and matching them. Uh, so I will need this in the future for other kits, but it doesn't need it for this kit. This kit is designed for it, but these are not universal on all uh, Gundam. So I will need to save that for the future. But anyway, um, it's, I don't know. I, I got very interested in, in it. It was uh, kind of surprising to see like this, this company making some choices. Um, speaking of choices, uh, today I did a lot of um, model kit. Not model kit. I mean, I'm doing model kit now. Hey, we got a new follower. Thank you for the follow, uh, 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 Tycho Moxie. Uh, welcome. Happy to have you here. Thanks for thanks for hitting the old follow button. Um, okay, so what did I do today? Uh, Today, I did a lot of customer service. That's right, my friends. Oh, boy. Uh, I did so much customer service because uh, I worked a full six-hour shift. The company that I, um, I am on call for as a sub, I am a contractor that does, that does uh, fill-ins. I normally do partial shifts. I'll do like three hours or two-hour shifts uh, to jump in um, just to kind of help out. Uh, but... Uh, I did pick up a full shift today and I will full shift on Wednesday. Uh, they do six hour shifts instead of eight hour shifts. And I think that's like totally fun. Uh, a full six hour shift. I'm sitting after my 12th today. Yes. So obviously, um, when I say it's a full shift, 
that is their that is their terminology. They do six hour shifts. Uh, now, do they do that because they have all part time people and no full time people, and it just keep people's hours under a certain amount so they don't have to pay overtime? Of course it is. It's part of it. Uh, you know, having a bunch of people doing six hour shifts is on purpose. Uh, but it is customer service and it is kind of mindless. And this time, yes, it is gross. I agree. Uh, but this time of year, it is uh, uh, actually the best time of year for customer service because um, they most of the time they missed out on Christmas. Uh, yes, uh, they don't have to provide lunch breaks this summer, right? Yes. So today and on Wednesday, I do get a lunch break that is paid. And it's not, sometimes I've worked some places that are like, oh, well, you know, it's this amount of shifts. Um, uh, oh yeah, Ying Dark, I've been there. I've been there for the, like the, like two part times that end up being the same day. Yeah, I've definitely been there. Um, but, uh, so this job, I've been jobs where they're like, it's, you know, it's nine to five thirty Cause you get a half an hour lunch and it's like, okay. Right. Um, this particular gig, uh, this week anyway, and the last, I think the last week as well, it is a six hour shift, but it includes in that six hours, half an hour lunch. Uh, that is part of your six hours. You just clock out. You know, you don't have to clock out for it. You just take a half an hour. You inform and you take a half hour. And I'm like, that's fun. I like that. So that is nice. Yes, that is nice for this week. Uh, but like I said, I'm usually like a, a fill in a partial shift cover or uh, the swing cover because there are hours where they were like, uh, yes, Ying Dark, I agree. I mean, I'm working from this house. So for me, it's like, Today, I went up and got a snack and walked around because just the way the shift worked, I ate before and just kind of did whatever. And Wednesday, I'll probably do the same. Uh, just like, oh, that's my midday snack, sure. Um, also, don't say the name of the, the people. I don't care to say the name of the people. I got no interest in saying the name of the people. But like, you know, I do my best. It's just a job. I don't. I don't, I, I want to help people like people who are like, Hey, this was a gift, you know, for someone and it doesn't fit right. I want to help them. Uh, or, Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering what's up, what's going on? Where is this package? Like, do, do you have any more information? You know, I, I, here's the thing. Can you look this up? Do you have any more fish than I do? I almost never do. I almost never know more than the people know, uh, because I don't have, I don't have magic. Uh, information um I, I just don't uh i i wish i had magical information but i definitely don't uh so i don't know the stuff that you are really wishing that i knew um but a lot of it is just like yeah i'm looking this up i'm, I'm trying to trying to help people out um i'm trying to explain to people what business days means it's 14 days and 14 business days are different things and that's never fun to explain to people because they don't actually want to know and, and they don't want to actually hear that. Uh, they have really no interest in that. Uh, but I do try to explain to people what the fuck that means. Uh, listening and checking anyway makes them feel heard and appreciate this customer. Totally. Uh, I have to remind my coworkers, I don't really need you to answer me. I need to be seen uh, talking to you. So when I go back, they will believe me when I read my answer to them. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's a different thing, right? Like people want to go like, Hey, do you have any information about this? And I can be like, okay, well, I looked this up here and this is the information I have for you right now. Uh, and then I can say things like, Hey, I know that you may have heard that the post office is running slow and Saturday delivery isn't in every place. Uh, you may have heard these things. I don't know how familiar you are, you are with what's going on with the post office right now. Or like, uh, you know, like it, it's things like that. And you say like, hey, just so you know, the warehouse where a lot of this gets produced was hit with snow because one of the facilities was hit with snow. So I know which ones were like are dealing with 
with the winter uh, conditions. And I can say that. I can like give information on that. And then a lot of times it's just like, yeah, like I said, explaining what that means. I can tell you that if you are in Brazil, you should not be buying things internationally because the Brazilian post office does not care about your order. They just don't care. Uh, like that is the thing that I have learned from multiple customer service gigs. Uh, the a universal truth right now is that Brazil does not care about your international items. Uh, they just don't want to care about it. So, like that stuff that I can tell people as best I can. Um, it's like, no, we can't sell to you because you are in this country and this thing happened. So we we will do our best. Um, it is. Uh, It is what it is. I, um, you know, I'm doing my best, like trying to help people. Like I said, get through it. Um, I'll be done for the year on Wednesday for that. I have a couple. I have a couple ships uh, set up for January. The bulk of the money I make these days with another contract gig that I do. I've talked about this on stream before, um, but I uh, I do uh, work for a uh, uh, a like I like to call them a data company. They are they are the people that you go to to uh, update manuals, uh, which I don't I don't thankfully I don't do any of that I don't do any manual updating, uh, any copywriting like that. Um, I do a lot of like data entry updating for large spreadsheets and PowerPoint presentations. Like uh, in January, I will be doing a lot of making. Things that said 2020 say 2021 or 22, I should say, the, the 2021 to 2022. I'm going to be doing a lot of that in January and February. And it, it, so sometimes it's just like documents that are like going to people, like updating text for websites, uh, PowerPoint presentations and, and things like that, doing, doing updates of that kind of stuff. Um, I do a bunch of that. Uh, and I don't have any gigs lined up for the, this year I, I, or the rest of this year. I, I finished all of them. But those are fun because they're just like, hey, uh, I got three projects for you. Here are the due dates for them. This is the complication of these. You did this one previously for this company. Do you want to do more of it? Hey, you have you worked on this thing? You know, hey, does anyone have any knowledge about dentistry? Because here is some really heavy stuff that we're not going to be able to copy at it too well or look at or like check your work so we want to make sure that people like have a basis for it um i have gotten uh independent comic stuff because i am the most of the contract employees i am the most knowledgeable about the world of independent comic books which is to say i'm somewhat knowledgeable about it i'm not super knowledgeable but i'm pretty knowledgeable about like i know the names of some companies uh, so I've got, been given that, like, I get those projects. You're just like, that's fun. Uh, that, uh, that can be very mindless, but it is, but you do accomplish things and it's small tasks that I can accomplish. And I like that. That is fun for my present state of mind to accomplish these small tasks. Be like, oh, I'm done with them now. I finished this project and now I can move on to the next thing that I'm working on or whatever. Um, and they are, of course, things I can do from this apartment or this house, I should say, because that is a thing that I am most interested in. Um, speaking of this house, um, you know that I say I'm in South Carolina, that that which is true. That's what that's where I'm at. Um, I have been I've done my best. I think I may have said it once just in conversation. It came out, but I've never said on stream. I don't believe what town I'm in. I may have even said like the big town that's near me, the area that I'm in, but I haven't said the specific town because this is this is my parents' house. This is where my parents live and retire. I don't need that information out there. When I lived in Brooklyn, I was okay telling you that I like I was okay telling you that I lived in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. I lived in some of the quiet parts of Williams, one of the quiet parts of Williamsburg. I was happy to give that information out. That did not affect me for you to know that information. Uh, I'm saying this because I am not going to be putting up a Target wish list. So Target has registries, and you can do a registry, and then you can just change the expiration date on the registry, so you just keep it going. 
and they'll mail stuff and you don't know the address you just put in you know the list thing you click on the thing you buy it you'll get notifications that someone bought it that kind of thing right so i could do that like i have my amazon wish list. i could do a target wish list but but there's no way to hide the name of the city or town that you live in that, that is the shipping address you don't get the actual physical like number street name address but you do get the town and because of that i'm not gonna do a target wish list uh because i like to have an option i like to have something target has more i had you know it getting more model kits and lego sets like those are things that I, I could put i could put together a pretty okay wish list there yeah and i think that sucks that they include that um my assumption is that they're they're not they're not in the business of setting things up for me, right? They're not they're not setting it up like uh yeah, uh took the partner to Target to find the Gundams on offer. Yeah. I mean the 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 kits I'm I've got on my Amazon wish list, a couple of them are kits that were um that were Target limited Target exclusives, right? Uh I will just PayPal you the movie thing. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, the money. I was, uh, yeah, I mean, like, direct donations are also a thing people can do if they don't want to do the Amazon wish list thing. Uh, also, uh, you can go to USA Gundam Store and buy a gift card because it's a digital gift card. You can buy a gift card, USA Gundam Store, and then whisper me the code on Twitch or DM me on Twitter because my DMs are open. Uh, like that's the alternative to Amazon. Like, unfortunately right now buying a gift card, to USA Gundam store is the best way that is the non Amazon best way to support me other than just like sending me money or, you know, subscribing to Twitch or joining my Patreon or whatever, but like a one-time thing, unfortunately, Amazon is the best way to do that. Uh, I should say, um, I'll, uh, I'm going to link this right here. Because I would like for everyone in chat, if you haven't already, to if you, if you didn't see it, I'll put a link here uh, to go check out my uh, a Twitter poll that I put up today. That'll be running until 1 p.m. Eastern tomorrow, like 1:15 Eastern tomorrow. Uh, what expensive kit should I buy? Uh, these are three kits that are available on Amazon. They are all way too expensive, and I normally would not purchase them uh, for the price that they are set at. But I did get a very good Amazon gift card this year. And so it is a yearly tradition that I will, uh, I will send or I will spend uh, some of the money I got, uh, you know, a big chunk of that, you know, my, my regular money. And then also the Amazon gift card and buy something big. Uh, let's see, a one thirty right uh, from that. So check the poll out. I got three options there. Uh, and it's the thing where it's like, one of them is like expensive for a weird high grade. One of them is incredibly expensive for a hard to find small production item. And one of them is like, honestly, for a real grade, pretty good price. Well, I wish it was like $10, $15 less. Yeah, but like, I love right now the vote total is 62 votes. Uh, there are 12% uh, or almost 13% of the vote is for a weird like dragon model kit um uh, about 40 percent is for the heavy arms uh, uh angle unit which is the heavy arms with a lot more it's the from the uh the losers uh um uh manga it's just a heavy arms with extra not extra arms but extra like munitions and then the third one is the zeong real grade which is the big fun weird nightmare real grade thing monstrosity of a kit that i love uh but yeah i got a poll going there um and that yeah that that's what's happening right now uh is there a link to the kits look at oh yeah so yes so uh looking at your big spender list yeah so uh i the the link in the chat is to the poll and below that the the first reply that i put in are the three images so you can get a see uh, you can get a sense of like what this looks like uh heaviest arm yeah ying dark it is it is the it's, it's 
I, I used to call it the extra arms, but it doesn't have extra arms. I wish it did. Uh, it's just the more, more munitions arm, uh, which I do enjoy. I do enjoy that it exists. Uh, and I have built a couple kits from that line. The, um, the death scythe is really fun because it's basically just a death scythe with wings that are kind of like the original wing Gundam, which I think is fun. Um, and I think that's cool. Uh, if you if you always wanted a uh, a big arm that like a big sword and shield on the Shenlong, you can get a big sword and shield. That is a fun combo for that. Uh, the the armadillo armor for the Sandrock is pretty cool, but uh, is actually even harder to find. They made even less of those. And the Sandrock is not a kit that I particularly enjoy in general, but I do like that addition. Okay, so. Building this big, we're building a big gun. We got some small guns. Now we're working on a big gun here. Got a bunch of components that we need to build. Uh, did heavy arms a year or so ago. I do like it. Yeah, I do like this heavy arms. Now, here's my thing. I like the original and it's big wrist knife because that's cool. I also like the endless walls version because like, the colors are very cool and it's just like even more like. It's not just like more guns, it's more, more guns. I just think that's great. So this one has like more rockets. The fact that it has so many rockets that it's like, oh, you need to brace the, we need to brace the legs on this thing. Like, I just think that's a fun idea. So, I don't know. I do want to, uh, I do, I wouldn't mind picking that up. The, um, like I've heard very good things about that real grade. I don't often build real grades on the stream, but I've heard very good things about that. So, and it's like, it's a weird kit. It's just like a weird looking thing. Um, partner can tell me he's streaming, but he saw you and gasped. Are you watching another Gunpla Builder? I better go mod for him, but thanks for letting me pester. I voted. Y'all have a great night. You didn't pester. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the follow. Please come check it back in again. Uh, go mod uh, uh, for your partner. That's rad. Uh, and have. Uh, I hope your partner has a great stream. Thanks for coming in. And yeah, come back and see us again. Um, but yeah, you know, sometimes you just gotta. Yeah, thank you. You sometimes you just gotta check in. Yeah, you, know, you got you got work to do. I understand. Um, I haven't I haven't modded for people in a long time. Uh, I used to, I used to be a modder. Uh, for a couple, uh, Twitch streams, that people that don't stream anymore. Uh, it was nice. It was nice being in a little community. These were people that didn't. Like, it was nice to have somebody watching your back, but they didn't necessarily, like, ever super need it. Occasionally they would. This was free, like, uh, like, this would be something where we'd be like, oh, someone would come in and be a little rude, and then you just, like, whisper them and be like, hey, I'm going to time you out. Like, it was never anything serious. You ban a couple people because they come in and say something awful, but, like, I don't know. Uh, it was just, it was nice because they were, like, wow the both people were uh were raiders for in wow so uh they would be like small group raids um and they just didn't want to deal with uh having to worry about like anything in chat and like worrying about modding so we would just kind of take care of that um i didn't mind doing it i didn't love doing it but i didn't mind doing it anyway i do want people to check out that poll because you you get to help me decide where I'm going to spend all of my money uh, on a very expensive kit that I otherwise would not purchase for myself. Certainly, um, I should have bought. I should have pre-ordered the Zeong, but I didn't because I didn't have necessarily. I want to spend that money at the time, and I always felt like I would. I would end up buying that heavy arms like at a con and spending way too much money. So I might as well buy it there. The other thing about buying that heavy arms is it is free shipping but it is not prime shipping so it's going to take forever to arrive which is fine i got a good backlog anyway um oh i should check this hey i'm going to do this right now i'm going to see what won my poll uh for my patrons this is a separate poll this is a poll on patreon for my ten dollar patrons where they vote on what i'm going to build next and they have voted for the goof 
Crimson Custom High Grade. So when this kit is done, which again, I don't necessarily think is going to be tonight because there's still plenty of weapons left to build. And then we also have to do a bunch of stickers at the end. Uh, and we'll, get, well, we have one, this weapon and the shield and the backpack left to build. Um, there's not a ton of stuff left, but it is like, oh, if you got a few things left to build on here. Um, I'm conflicted on if I want you to get that Zeong because I haven't built mine yet. Oh, I hear you, Les Brooks. Maybe you don't want to see someone build the thing that you have and haven't built. I understand. I gotcha. Vote with your heart. Um, I will be happy to put that together if it wins the poll. Um, but yeah, uh, my go the goof crimson. I have that here. I can show you what that looks like. That looks like. That. That's what it looks like. That's the next thing we're building. Lovely colors. Lovely shade of red. That is a 2000... I want to say that's a 2010 or 2014. Maybe it's 2014 kit, I want to say. So it's kind of old, but not super old. I do think we've built that exact goof before. I think it has, like, maybe a little bit... Because, like, some of these kits are... Um, oh, this is, like... You know, we, we built the uh, Live Lance Heaven, which is a death scythe with some extra parts. It's also got a little bit of Gundam X, the uh, Sago uh, Gundam in it. Um, this kit is just, the new part is this con connector. So I can put the backpack on other things. This kit is the kit that came out with a new paint job. The goof is a goof with a new paint job. Like those things are the same. There is no difference. Uh, the um, new part was it Blazing Gundam is basically a God Gundam with some extra other parts that but it's basically the same. The Sky Zero is just a Wing Zero kit. There is no new parts on it. it is the Wing Zero kit with a new paint job. So some of them are creative. Obviously, the the two big ones are the Live Lance Heaven, um, uh, which we built, and the Barbatoris, which is a four-legged uh, Barbatos, which, as of right now, I still do not have possession of and no shipping updates on. Uh, I would really like to get this fucking thing, but ha as of right now, still do not have it. Don't know when I'm getting that. Would love to get that. Would love to, to get that thing that I paid for already. Please, 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 at some point, please, USA Gun Store, give me an update on that. Like a missing pallet or something. I just want that kit. I want my Barbatoris. Want my Barb. Look, I just want my Barbara Taurus. You understand? You get it? You understand? You know? You know what I'm saying? I would just like to have that because that is a kit that I do not currently have in my possession that I paid for that has been out and is available uh, limited quantities apparently, but has been out. You can get that places. Um, but yeah, looking forward to eventually building that. But yeah, like I said, some of these are interesting and like new takes and like weird combinations of things and other ones are just like yeah this person that in this fictional you know fighting game within the uh the anime their whole thing was i'm gonna build this i'm gonna build this mobile suit but it's gonna be very similar to the original it's like ah yeah i have a wing zero and my customization is i painted it a little different like, no okay sure I guess. All right, so how do these connect? Connect like this. We're getting the big gun here. Just getting the big gun together. Uh, and this big gun will, will, will like, you can break this thing down and then it goes in the case that we're gonna build last, uh, the weapon container. So basically you just like take this apart and load that up which is kind of neat that it exists. Well, I won't worry about that. I'm just going to build all of them so we can see all of them. But let's build the shield here because uh, that'll be the last thing I build. But we'll build that 
after our pause for the cause. We're going to take a pause for the cause here. We're going to talk about ways you can support the channel. Then we'll get back into building uh, and uh, and putting on all of these stickers that I need to put on uh, that need to go on this kit. Uh, we got to do that as well. Um, so and luckily that's on that's a color page that tells you where all of these extra stickers go on these markings they're calling them we'll put those on uh in a moment uh first and foremost let's go over here to the intro screen uh if you are currently a subscriber you can throw the bear cave the lego the site the moat in the chat let the people know being a subscriber is an easy way to support what i do uh um you know it's just like uh john put that in there and dirty's throwing in the most as well um but subscribing yet yeah, like i said easiest way to support what i do here uh cash money prime gaming token if you got amazon prime you link that with your twitch you can do that that is an as i said super easy way to support me on this channel and i would appreciate it um all the things i'm going to talk about here are optional none of these are things you definitely need to do i would love it if you'd be interested in doing those things but again you don't have to worry about it um uh you can also gift somebody a sub in the community uh we've had uh sin and silver and aristophan all um gave uh, uh gifts this this month which was great um you if you've been gifted a sub you can convert that into a regular subscription we won't charge you for the gifted sub or your gift will carry on until it expires the 30 days and then they'll charge you so if you want to convert it you could do that um and also bits and coins are always appreciated always love to see them bits them bits them bits um also, I have a Patreon. I mentioned this before. I, you know, look, it's almost the end of the month, right? Like, if you want to jump in on my Patreon, do it on Saturday when it's the first, right? Don't worry. Do it on New Year's Day. Don't worry about joining at the end of the month. But keep in mind, I got a Patreon. Patreon.com slash Pat Bear. Got different tiers, different rewards for each tier. Uh, for free, obviously, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. YouTube subscription will be free. But... If you want my Wednesday videos on Tuesday, you get a day early in, in, uh, as a message, you could join. You become a member on my YouTube. $2 a month. $2 a month. You could do that. That's another way to support me. That is not through Twitch. It is not through Patreon. It's through YouTube. Um, also, direct donations. Uh, I do take direct donations through PayPal and through Coffee. They go into a fund along with everything I make through uh, uh, Patreon and youtube and twitch and direct donations all go to the fund that's how i buy model kits and equipment uh i'm gonna be using a gift card on this big high ticket price item that i'm gonna be buying on amazon but i also will be using some money that comes from those funds i have a backlog of kits that comes from uh your continued support and it means a lot to me but every dime that comes in through the patreon and through twitch and all the other revenue and adsense for youtube because my youtube videos are all related to the channel all that goes into buying kits and equipment um the stream deck that i got earlier this year or, or, or a couple months ago that comes from this uh which i which, which really appreciate um now this kit that i'm building right now this came from my Amazon wish list. Somebody bought this kit off my wish list, and they, they kept it anonymous, which is fine. Um, if you would like to buy something from my wish list, I'll put the link in there. Also, if you're watching this later on YouTube, what's up, YouTube? You can find all this in the show description below. Um, if you buy anything from my wish list, I shoot a video about the kit. The kit. I look at the box and be like, hey, this came from this time. It's from this show. I'm excited to build it. And then I will also, uh, it'll jump the queue, and I'll, and I'll build it sooner. This came in not too long ago, and it was like, oh, that's the next thing I'm building. Uh, on my wish list, I've got Lego sets. I've got one Mega Constructs kit, but it is the Alien Queen from Aliens, because uh, I would love to build that. Um, i got Lego sets, as I said. I've got high-grade kits. Um, there's a pre-order. I put a pre-order in there that is, uh, that is coming out in January. Um, uh, pre-order for the Gundam C Destiny uh, uh, high grade because I don't know I don't mind the dagger it is a uh, Gundam C Destiny dagger this is a dagger I'll put that up there I put a pre-order in there um, they don't charge you till it ships so you can put a pre-order and you can you know do that if you want um, uh, high grade kits master grade kits inexpensive kits incredibly expensive kits uh, kits that I'm like why is this 
what is this? Why is this so expensive? It is uh, stuff that like sometimes it's on my wish list and you can just add to cart. Sometimes you got to go and look at it later. And I don't know why. Also, the three things that I put on my poll, I also have here. If someone wanted to buy it instead of me buying it, they certainly could. Uh, and then, of course, a couple pieces of equipment at the bottom because not everybody wants to buy a model kit or knows what model kit they would like to buy, but they still want to help me out. Um, uh, and yeah, I keep updating that list all the time. Uh, again, as I mentioned earlier, the alternative to that, uh, to, uh, my Amazon wish list is buying a gift card from USA Gundam store. They will uh, send you a code in your email and then you can whisper me on Twitch or DM me on Twitter. Jam just subscribed with Twitch prime. That's 48 months on a, that's four. <laughs> uh, that's so long jam. I, I literally got choked up there for a second. Yeah, that's. That's four years. Um, let's hit the old applause there. Thank you. Thank you so much for, for all that support. Um, uh, that's ridiculous. I mean, I know I've been streaming over four years, but to see it, every time I see that number, just like, that's, that's a long time. And I really, really appreciate it. Uh, thank you, Jam, for your continued support. Uh, thank you also for using Twitch Prime and keeping up on it so you don't miss a month because with Prime, you could just miss a month sometimes. Uh, so I, I do appreciate that very much. Um, okay, the yes, again, start. Oh, here's a way to support me that doesn't cost any fucking money because that's important. Uh, I got a Discord. You can just join my Discord. I post build photos, people post stuff they're working on. It's a nice little place. Sometimes there are no posts in the day. It's just chill. You can join my Discord. It's nice. Um, Couple of video links for you to check out. At Bears Anime Club is an ongoing video series. I will have a new one uh, up on on Monday that I'm actually recording on Wednesday. My next stream uh, this week is going to be Wednesday 9 p.m. Eastern, where I re live record the next episode of Pat Bears Anime Club. The previous one was me talking about like some of the big anime news for the year that was that felt important to me. Wednesday, I'm going to be recording, and then it'll go up on Monday on my YouTube channel. It'll be my fall 2021 wrap-up and my winter 2022 preview. Hey, if you thought there were a lot of isekai this month, there are more next month, or next season, which comes out next month. There is a lot of isekai, and I'm interested in almost all of them. Uh, there's like one that I'm like, nah, I'm good. I read a little of this manga and I didn't enjoy it. Um, because that's gender politics were, were all sorts of questionable into shitty, shitty, shitty. Uh, so I was like, no fucking thanks. Um, so yeah, uh, there's one Isakai coming next season. I'm like, no thanks. And if you want to hear which one that is, you got to watch on Wednesday when I talk about it. Anyway, another video you can check out is... Best of Build a Bear, the second to last Best of Build a Bear. I'll have a new one coming out on Wednesday, uh, which will be the last one of the year. This is uh, the Best of Build a Bear. I, I would recommend checking it out. Um, uh, this is me trying to have like thoughtful advice about kids and scary and weird movies. Uh, I don't know if I succeeded. And then I'll mention it again, uh, the link to a poll on my Twitter uh, where you can, if you want, vote for what uh, model kit I should buy. And uh, right now, Ziyang is beating the heavy arms and uh, the Danazine. Uh, I knew the Danazine would be a dark horse uh, because it's not as wild and weird and also not as expensive, even if it's $50 or whatever. Um, I thought the heavy arms, the most expensive kit, would be winning by a mile, but apparently people really wanted me, me to build that weird Xeong. It is wild and weird, and I, would, I wouldn't I would hate building it uh, with its not legs nonsense. Um, but yeah, uh, still should check out that vote in that poll if you'd like. And let's see, what else can I do right now? Oh, uh, you voted for Heavy Arms. Nice. I honestly thought the series was called uh, Builder Bear. Uh, like a build with bear sounds alike. Oh, yeah, no. No. Uh, 
That is not the name. All right. And uh, no, that's the, yeah, it's best to build with bear. It's a simple name. Um, folks may remember that my Wednesday, here's, here's the thing. We'll get back into to building and we'll talk about some manga. Um, I do a different video series. Uh, this is now, I think, the, the third year I've been doing that where I'll do a thing on Wednesday and it will be a different project uh, every Wednesday. Um, and I've been doing a few different things with that. It, it keeps me motivated to continue to work on things and have some weekly content for y'all. Um, the plan this year was I did uh, Pat Reacts. It was like reacting to, to, uh, to things, uh, reaction videos. And I did not enjoy it. Um, a bunch of videos I made got like blocked in every country or blocked on mobile or uh, and, and like I didn't even mind if they hit copyright, but I couldn't broadcast them. People were really people weren't as into it as other projects I have done other my other Wednesday projects. So I, I abandoned it and then just did what was supposed to be my 2022 project, which was uh, best to build with bear, which was just clips from these streams that I thought were fun. Um, that was going to be next year's project. So instead I did that early. So I had to come up with a new project. So starting on Wednesday, uh, Wednesday, January uh, 5th, I will be doing uh, Do You Remember? Remember my name. It's Remember. And it's Do You Remember? Uh, and it's it, it maybe should be called Do I Remember? But it's Do You Remember? Because it's like the song. Do you remember the 21st night of September? Uh, but it's Do You Remember? Uh, the project is, uh, I just keep saying it so it becomes, it makes sense in my head. Uh, the, the project is, I'm going to be checking out a Wikipedia article, something, something uh, historical perhaps, or a concept page on Wikipedia, uh, which will be linked in the show description of that video. And then I will, without looking at it, after reading it, I will record and I will attempt to, maybe comedically, hopefully entertaining wise, uh, edutainment, perhaps even, uh, explain what I'm talking about, what I read to my best of my knowledge, see if I can remember, and and not only remember, but then also uh, uh, regurgitate that in hopefully an entertaining way. So yeah, maybe it will be edutainment, maybe it will be a colossal failure, um, but it is a project that I was like, that's something I kind of want to do, so I'll be doing that. Uh, I do that, but as a game with friends for a movie we've seen a long time ago. Oh, I like that. Yeah, just like, what do you remember about that movie? Um, that is, yeah, that is fun. So it'll be, uh, do you remember 2020? Let's go. Yes. So hopefully it'll be fun. And people will enjoy it. As I said, that's going to be uh, in January, the first week of January. And I'll do 52 weeks of that. Um, uh, yeah, it'll be the next in my series of weekly videos. Uh, anyway, I'm going to drink a little water and then we are going to uh, continue working on this kit. Uh. All right, we are um, we're working on the shield right now. And then we will when we're done with the shield, we will work on the backpack and then stickers. And that'll probably be the whole stream. We might not even finish all the stickers. Um, but what can I tell you? Oh, yeah. So we're going to talk about some manga been reading some manga uh i said manga also included in this is manhwa because the second thing we'll be talking about is a manhwa the first thing we're going to talk about here is a warrior exile by the hero and his lover um i can't remember if i've talked about this before i, I mentioned this on stream i think in uh the last episode that i was like hey i don't remember if i've ever talked about this so i felt like i should um mention it uh and kind of go give my thoughts on it. Uh, so this is your standard. Uh, person gets kicked out of the hero's party and in, is in fact incredible and should not have been kicked out of the hero or the S rank or whatever's party. Definitely, it was a mistake to let that person go. In this particular case, he is very knowledgeable and people like him and he knows what he's doing. He isn't overpowered while he is there. He literally becomes overpowered immediately after getting kicked out. Like the next day, he's like, well, all right, I guess I'm out of this shit. What do I do now? I'm going to take my anger out on you, demon beast. Oh, I've, I'm now overpowered. Okay. 
the other thing is it's not just like oh we we got we grew complacent we didn't realize how great you were uh he is the uh the quote unquote hero has a skill that allows him to basically like manipulate uh people uh and he is using that skill to manipulate the women that he is accompanying uh and so it is not it is heavily implied if not flat out stated that they are not interested in uh in doing this but also he doesn't know that our main character just knows that his uh his you know his lover who he gave a ring to has left him for the hero and everyone agrees that he shouldn't be part of uh the hero's party well, so his uh, his big ability, our main character, is that uh, he saves experience, and no one understood what that meant. Well, what it means is it takes him a very long time to level up, but when he does level up, he powers up greatly all at once, very fast. Uh, so he he gets he gets so much stronger. Like he goes from level like twenty to three hundred. And he does it so fast that his body has to adapt and evolve in order to handle it. And thus he becomes part dragon. Uh, he is a dragonoid human, human, but he is no longer fully human. Um, and he, uh, all his abilities went up like a hundred times. He later, he just randomly hits thresholds where he's just like, now you have all this magic power and now you have all these abilities. And also... Uh, he can just now has the ability uh, that people that are in his party also level up strongly. Uh, and he starts doing incredible things. He gets the legendary sword that the hero is looking for. Uh, he defeats a dragon that they were supposed to, to do, you know, to, to defeat. Uh, he just going around doing cool hero shit like it's no big deal um, because he is now definitely strong enough to defeat a demon the demon lord like he could probably do it himself now uh another thing that is nice is he he's he's not like he's not uh he's aware that he has these abilities and he's leveled up and that he has like newfound strength like he is aware of that which is great uh because that generally annoys me in these types of things where he's just like seemingly does not understand what's going on no this dude knows oh i'm really powerful now now the part of a uh a warrior exiled by the hero and his lover that i don't like that i'm gonna bring up is the part where uh once again one of my least favorite things about isekai and the fantasy genre is the use of the slave that is in love with you um because he's like, I can't trust anyone. I've been betrayed and I, I have trust issues. But I need backup. I need a partner. So I will purchase one. And then uh, they, you know, they can't betray me. And, and he, he's at least like, he understands that he's like, look, it's, it's because they have to. But at the very least, it is somebody looking out for me. I don't, I hate that. I don't like that. This is a part of this thing. I do not enjoy. I'm I'm trying to state that as be, uh, you know as clearly as I can. Um, I think that sucks and is a cop out. Also, I hate this like thing that doesn't happen all the time, but in this case, like oh, it was a young girl, and then she leveled up so much that she grew in appearance, and she's older now. And it's like, what didn't just have her be that age? Why are you doing this? Uh, the uh, uh, this is not the first uh, show to do that. Uh, it's shitty and garbage, and I don't enjoy it. Um, so that's the parts that I do not like about this. Um, I do like that he's just, like, going about his adventures and doing his thing. I think that is fine. But I, in general, don't enjoy the part where um, the, the whole element of the uh, slave girl is just not something that I'm interested in in the slightest. All right, so how does this attach? This slides in. Uh, yeah. 
That slides in like this. I'm sorry, folks. Give me a second here. I'm not sure. This just points at one direction and points at this. And I'm like, well, how does it go? I think it goes like that. And then I got to do the C1 is over here. And that's C2 is the other side. Great. Um, all right. And the other one that I want to talk to you about is OP after 30 days of sign in. Um, now, here is a main character who is an overpowered main character, and he seems to be, one, incredibly non-pulsed about it, and two, does not seem to understand that he is overpowered, uh, how overpowered he is, uh, but he is one of the most, like, go-with-the-flow characters I've seen in quite some time. Like, he is just like, okay, I guess this is how I'm dealing with this, uh, so... Um, it starts off with our main character. He has been working for a company to save money because save up money because his sister is in the hospital and he is working for her. The company he is working for, he's just like, yep, I'm going to resign because I can't lie the way you want me to. And they're like, no, we lost a lot of money on this project. You're supposed to take the fall for us. Who do you think you are? And he's like, I mean, I'm not going to do that. So goodbye. Uh, to the point where if he doesn't take the fall, one of his coworkers is going to take the fall and she tries to murder him, literally tries to kill him by pushing him off a building so that he will die and like take the blame for what's happened, which, you know, awesome. Great job, lady. Uh, of course, uh, she gets the tables turned on because he pulls her down as well and she dies, but he gets transported to what is the plot of the story, the actual plot of the story, which is, oh, he's a normal guy, but he is transported to a secret world where he and one, like he and many other people are going to fight to the death. Yikes, indeed, Ghost Val. Uh, he's going to fight to the death against demonic beat or maybe not demonic but monster beasts from another dimension because all of these warriors have been training uh also all these warriors are being live streamed and there's commentary and and you can give coins to uh the uh the contestants so it's this weird like it's weird it's a, this is a korean manhwa like i said and this part is fucking weird but the idea of it is that it's like, yeah, you can uh, you can send money to this if you want. And then maybe, you know, people will get powered up uh, thanks to your help, uh, and which, you know, that is a weird thing. It's a weird thing, as I describe it, is a weird thing in the story. Um, but they realize that our main character is like, hey, this guy doesn't seem to have any powers. What the fuck's up with this dude? Why is this dude there? Now, you'd think our main character would be freaking the fuck out. But he fucking takes a nap. He's just like, all right, well, I shouldn't be here. That's weird. I guess I'll wait for the actual people to defeat these monsters so I can leave. Um, and so that's his game. Uh, the other thing is, uh, he's the only one that has some sort of video game like display, RPG display, which basically pops up and is like, hey. Your day one login bonus. You have the power of a beast that has lived for a thousand years. Because that's how they describe the power levels of creatures is if you've lived for hundreds of years, you must be strong because you were able to survive. Well, he's he's now the equivalent of someone who's lived for a thousand years, uh, a beast. So he's very strong and he acts completely and utterly non-pulsed by this information. He is totally seemingly oblivious and could not give a shit about the information that is presented to him. He's killing monsters. He's still acting like he's weak. People assume he's weak because they can't sense any power in him. Uh, so he's just like, like, yeah, I guess I'm here. Okay, sure. Yeah, I'll back. You. He's like, well, I guess I got to fight this thing. And they're like, well, we're dead. And he's like, okay. And he just destroys it. Oh, there are monsters who can recognize how strong he is, and they back the fuck off. Uh, 
and he will have more login powers because right? he's 30 days it's 30 day op after 30 days of sign in so he's just going to keep getting more abilities as long as he can survive uh it's weird like also in the, in the non world like he's doing so well uh these are stickers yes the orange pieces we haven't seen yet are uh stickers that they call them markings um so i will be adding these at the very end these are these are part of the like this wasn't on the original this is for the show that log version has these orange stickers so i will be applying those uh there's no like lines to where to apply them but i will do my best to apply them uh there's no guidelines i mean there's you know photos or whatever but uh, all right, let me take this kit. I'm going to take a photo with all of these weapons here. And we are done with the kit other than the stickers, which we will be doing. Uh, yeah. I just want to get these photos here. All right. All right, photos are done. This kit is done with the exception of all of these, which we will be applying. All of these marking stickers. And luckily, as I said, this does have um uh it does have a uh a lot of photos here uh in color so we can see what it's going to look like so we'll take this off because it's just going to get in the way we'll take the full backpack off here does it want the backpack doesn't really like to come off so i guess we won't take the there we go we'll take the backpack off and put the weapons aside we're going to save all this because it'll be useful. Anyway, uh, there's like 13 chapters so far of OP after 30 days of sign in. I don't know. I, I, I think it's going to, I'm hoping that this main character starts to understand that he is awesome because right now it is a little weird that he continues to not seem to understand how great he is. Uh, so I am, I am looking forward to him fucking figuring shit out uh how good he is at what he's doing here so yeah that's my hope is that he like fucking figures it out like oh i am really strong um like i said oh there is a weird thing in the in the real world where like the the people that wanted him to take the fall are now like look, seemingly gonna go kidnap his sister uh but as he does really well in that world i they, they seem to be like Kind of figuring out, like, oh, we probably shouldn't fuck with this dude. I assume that'll happen. Or maybe they will try to fuck with him. And I don't know if he's going to, like, when this mission is complete, uh, if he's going to be fine. Uh, it is kind of com comedic in a way, because, like, like I said, people... There is, there is some fun comedy moments where, like, the monsters are like, oh, we don't want to mess with this dude. And the... There's a lot of text from like people who are watching the live stream who are like laughing because they're like, this guy's dead, gonna die. And then other people are like, wait, is this guy like really good and strong? What's happening? Um, all right, so I think I'm just going to attach these as I go here. Um this is basically symmetrical, but there's like one one sticker that isn't, so just gonna kind of do this as I go through. There's some tiny stickers here. They actually make this orange, and I don't think there is a sticker for that. I do think that actually one of these is inaccurate. But for the most part, this seems like pretty straightforward. Uh, so I'm just gonna do the ankle ones here, which is seven. Yeah, one piece, or is this two? Great. Uh, and if I really wanted to make this look good, uh, I could cut out the parts that are not. Because you can see this is one sticker here. And I'll apply it. Uh, I could cut out the parts that aren't orange if I really wanted this to look great instead of just good. But uh, that's beyond me. I don't have the capacity for that. And I think it looks fine. I think that's going to look fine. I could cut out the parts there if I really wanted to go detailed. Uh, I have not read. The Batman webtoon. No, I have not read that. I have always, I've read some manga that's like, you know, I, there was a Batman manga um, years ago, and uh, a oh, there was Shink, which was the um, the Wolverine manga style, which was really dark, uh, as you might imagine. Oh, I put this in the wrong thing. 
might imagine that the Wolverine one was like post-apocalypse and he looked all fucked up. I definitely put this on the wrong thing and it's going to be hard to remove. I'm going to be very careful about trying to peel off the sticker. I put it on the bottom of this instead of the ankle part. I am now trying to remove the sticker with my knife, my Xacto blade, but I'm trying to not break the sticker. It hasn't been on for long enough and obviously I haven't put anything on it, to, on it. So I did break it a little bit, but I'll hopefully be able to line it up. Super cute. The Batman Web 2 is super cute. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'll check that out, but I have not seen it. Um, that's what I've been reading. Like I said, I'm catching up on a bunch of stuff. Uh, there's a couple new ones that I like. There is a, oh, there's a cute one. It's only two chapters so far. So I'm going to, uh, I don't have it yet to talk about, but uh, there haven't been enough of them that I've read. Uh, but the one I was pretty interested in right now is... Uh, my manga list. My manga list. There it is. Uh, it's Google Talk. Um, what's the name of that one? Uh, oh. Well, there's there's two. There's um, uh, don't overlook the re reincarnated granny, the second life of a former villainous empress, uh, who is like a woman that was considered to be a uh, uh, an evil. She she became evil to make the world good, basically. Uh, and she died for that. And then, so it is her now. She's gotten a second chance to just, like, do whatever. Uh, and so she is, like, a pretty young lady. She's basically got her youth back in years in the future. And she's just kicking ass. And there's another one that I can't remember the name of because I don't think I actually wrote it down. But uh, I am somewhat interested in... Uh, which is a uh, a story about a uh, a girl. Oh no, it's a guy. It's a guy who um, he has entered a new world, but he has taken over for a villainous woman. But it's not a fantasy world. It's like a, a, it's it's the real world. He's just been reborn, taking over the life of a girl that uh, commits suicide, uh, and he is just taking over her life. But everyone hates her because she was a real bitch, basically. She was the villain of the school. So it's him, like, trying to, uh, like, live his life the best he can when the world has already decided that uh, he's awful. Uh, which is kind of interesting. Where did this go? Where did this come from? This piece fell off something. What did this fall off of? Does anybody know? What this piece fell off this kit. Oh, it's over here. I found it. Never mind. It's this thing. Oops. Came off the chest unit. Uh, the construction of this kit is not the best. It was never the best, this particular Gundam. So they didn't make it better. They just put it out. Um, but it does look fucking rad. And these stickers do look great, too. So that's neat. I like the stickers. I just have never really liked this kit. So, you know. They did, yeah, they didn't make it better. Sorry. Uh, trying the horde mode they added to Quake. And that thing is pretty fun. Nice. Happy to hear that, Lashbrook. Uh, oh, another comic that I'll be reading soon is The Chronicles of the Going Home Club. Uh, the Go Home Club, uh, if you're unfamiliar, in uh, in Japan is the nickname for the people that don't do extracurricular activities. They just go home. So uh, a girl gets asked, like, hey, what club have you joined? are you joining? And she says, oh, the Going Home Club. Basically to say, like, I'm just going to go home. Turns out there is a club in her school named the Going Home Club, and she has to join it now. Uh, and so it's just a uh, excuse for some wacky characters to be wacky together. Um, and that sounds, to me anyway, like it's going to be good. So I'm going to be checking that out. Because uh, that, that is a, a premise that is right on my alley. But let's see if we can put this kit back together here. Having issues getting this together. Don't know why this piece does not want to go 
where it's supposed to go. It does not want to go to its home. This piece needs to lock in, and it isn't. And that is infuriating to me. All right, you know what? I'm just going to start putting some stickers on this thing, and I will, uh, I will attempt to reassemble it one more time, and then I will just finish reassembling it when I get. Uh, all right, yeah, I got that off. And finish reassembling it on my own. Where did this sticker come from? Somewhere. Oh, came off the chest. The chest sticker came off. I'm having all sorts of fun issues. Uh, yeah, what, what, anybody playing any video games right now? Is there anything you all are, like, super into that you're like, oh, yeah, this, uh, this is my favorite thing I'm playing right now. Let me know for the end of the year. I'm playing mostly Hearthstone right now. A few other things here and there. Uh, you know, pop into Power Wash Simulator, wash some stuff. I did multiplayer in Power Wash Simulator with a friend of mine uh, who has it, and that was wonderfully terrible. That was a great, stupid time. Uh, I enjoyed it very much. Uh, if you if you have friends who also have Power Watch Simulator, uh, that is a good, bad time. So I would recommend it. It was very fun and nonsensical. So yeah, that gets a recommendation for me, the multiplayer, which I did not think I would enjoy at all. Um, Ying, Ying Dark's playing. Unpacking? Hell yeah. Uh, John is play, uh, say, says, I finished Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Got uh, Going back to Super Robot Wars 30, hopefully before the year finishes. Hell yeah. Uh, main story quest in Final Fantasy. Excuse me, has been pretty good. Uh, yes. Well, I'm glad that you're enjoying them. All right. What other stickers do I need to put on here? I did the shield sticker. Uh, let's see if we can finish the legs here. Uh, all right. So the other ones are... Um, 12 and then 10 on the other side, 11 and 13. So 13 is this side here of the foot. So we'll do that one and we'll do, uh, we'll do 13 first here. This is 13, which goes on here. And this is just under the leg here, right up against the kit. So yeah, I've got some manga. Um, Mars Attacks. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, I watched Don't Look Up Yesterday as well as Mars Attacks, Eight-Legged Freaks, and Extinction. Dirty, you watched a lot of movies. Hell yeah. Um, uh, we took up Pat's suggestion for HBO Max for the new Matrix release. Hell yeah. Uh, you know, here's the thing. Again, we're not going to get into spoilers, but I really liked it. I understand why some people didn't. I don't understand why other people didn't. And I think some people were never going to like it. And they're just people that make the choice before they see the movie. And fuck them. I don't care about that. You can say, this movie is not for me. Like, you can just be like, hey, I'm never going to see this movie. But if you're just like, well, this movie's never going to be good. And there's no way I would like it. Then it's like, okay, well, you don't need to worry about pop culture then. You're, you're good. You can just stay in, your, stay in your lane, stay in your bubble. Sure. But for people that are like... People that were like, I saw it and it didn't it didn't do anything for me. It's like, okay. All right, sure. Um let's see. Lashbrook beat encryption today and probably due to the fact that I spread it out over so much I kind of felt ended flat. Yeah, I think that um inscription revs up and keeps going, and you you definitely don't want to do it, I think, in chunks. Uh, because I do think that it is a pretty affecting, interesting uh game but i i would say that it probably yeah you probably want to like you know the third act kind of like play all together uh today i played driving 800 180 plus round trip to visit family dirty that's a lot of driving my friend i uh, hope you got the high score uh last brick says ended up reading up on the post game arg and i wish that was in the game yeah I, I, i'm of two ways when it comes to the arg stuff like I like it for the people that like it and I like reading about it, but I don't know. I don't know if that stuff needs to be in the game because uh, sometimes the mystery, I think, is fun. I don't know. Like I said, I'm of two minds when it comes to that because some people will never touch any of that and they'll never know. Uh, these stickers don't uh, These stickers don't want to bend really at all. Uh, I don't own top coat, but my fear is I'm really going to need it for, for these stickers to stay on. I feel like these stickers are going to come off. 
whatever. They look pretty cool. They, they look pretty rad. I don't know if they look... Yeah, uh, no, they do look rad on uh, on my overhead camera. In person, they look pretty fucking rad, so... That's good. All right, we'll do 12 and 10. We'll at least get this done here. Um, Yeah, I don't have any big game that I want to check out right now. I mean, I'm still playing Halo. Um, Still really enjoying that. For me, anyway, for tomorrow, I believe, possibly... My cousin and his wife and their kids are going to be visiting. Um, weirdly enough, uh, uh, my cousin-in-law, uh, her family is in this area as well. So they often come to visit them for the holidays so that the kids can see their grandpa and grandma. And then they make a side trip to see my parents. And of course, since I'm here, they also see me. And we did a socially distanced lunch um, we, we just like found a place that had outdoor seating. We just like went to a five guys that it was easy enough for everybody to get to, uh, last year. And then hopefully they are down briefly. And so I think tomorrow we're going to be able to get lunch, uh, which will be nice. And then Wednesday I'm doing more customer service stuff, another six hour shift, which is again for them a full shift. And then I will, uh, I will be streaming on Wednesday. So. And maybe I'll watch an anime to talk about on Thursday. I don't know. This season has left me cold. But I might give, like, a long review on Thursday. But, of course, Wednesday I'll be giving my opinions. And so you'll be able to hear, like, I didn't talk about Restaurant to Another World Season 2 at all this season. But I did watch every episode. So, like, I'll probably talk about that some. In the stream, you know, and that'll be the live recording of that on Wednesday will be the place you can hear that. Those factoids. Um, all right, we we finished the legs because that actually, even though on the photo, the, the part down here that's orange, that's not actually a sticker, which is weird. Um, okay, I'm glad I went with the, the other orange on this since I've been doing that. Um, have you been grabbing free games in the Epic Store? No, dirty, I haven't. Um, I already own Prey, so I didn't pick that up, but I have not been keeping up day to day on what the free, like, I don't. I don't log into my Epic account enough to really pay attention, I guess. So uh, I have not been doing that, but I guess I will. I guess I'll see what, what's there. Um, but yeah, I don't use my, uh, I don't go to the Epic store enough to justify it. But I will, uh, I'll be checking that out. Um, but I did see some like people talking about like, Prey is free. And I was like, oh, that's cool. I own that. But other people should get it. Yeah, I wish I had, uh, I do, maybe now, for the first time ever, wish that I had a top coat spray. I don't know if these are going to hold on for that long. They do look good, so I'll say that. How about that? Uh, are you excited about, you, about your three-time TNT champion, Cody Rhodes? No. Here's the thing. At this point, I don't even want him to be heel. Uh, Cody Rhodes has go-home heat with me. He's got Xbox heat. He doesn't have, like, oh, this heel. I, I want to boo him. Because, uh, like, I'm still conv I am convinced that they that they have turned the baby foot face push into a slow heel turn. Like, I am convinced they have been doing that, last Brook, instead of just, like, them being unaware that people are like, this sucks. Um, but Cody doesn't need to be TNT champion. There's no reason to have him be TNT champion. You want to take the belt, you know, you want to move it to somebody else, sure. You want to give him the belt at first to help make it feel like it means something, great. But, like, he shouldn't be three-time champion. There's no reason to have him be three-time champion. Because I, I don't I don't believe that he's going to lose it anytime soon. And he he will need to. But I, but I don't trust them to have him drop it anytime soon, which is just a shame. Yeah, I'm real. I'm real down on that. I don't think. Uh, I mean, I'm just not a big fan of, of Cody right now. Whatever. Just not excited about him being champion. Okay. All right. Buy us some stickers. Um. 
Okay, Dirty says, I've been eyeing a starter set for Warhammer uh, 40k, Imperial Guard with paints, but feels like a real slippery slope. Yeah, so I did that one Warhammer fig uh, at PAX Unplugged, because they have like a setup where they have some paints, and somebody gave me like the rundown of what the different paints were, and how to use the tools, and and the figure, and I had fun doing it, like in the moment, as an activity at PAX, I was like, this is pretty cool. But but the idea of me getting a starter kit and getting into it and then like getting to learn techniques and all that, I was like, no, I think I'm good. I don't think that's something I should be doing with my time or energy. Um, yeah, that does feel like a very slippery slope. And then Lord Crashenin says, uh, watch Don't Look Up on Netflix. It's good, but very depressing. For a satire that's so on the nose. Yeah, I, I, I've heard that a, that is a, a bit depressing. But also, people seem to like it. I don't know. I have not seen it. I should be taking advantage of the fact that I still pay for Netflix. Because I forgot to cancel Netflix. So I have Netflix right now. Um, I mean, look. Stone Ocean Part 2 is going to come out at some point. So I'll have to get it again for that. So why not have it right now? Um... All right, we're, I'm going to do two more stickers, and then we're going to count this as stream. Because I still have to do the arm parts, so... But, like, I think I'm going to... Well, how many, more, how many more do I have left to do? I've got to do all around the arms. i got to do these parts here. These are two stickers each. You know what? Let's finish this. Because I don't have that many stickers left to do. Let's just get them all done. Maybe we'll go past 11 tonight. I'm okay with doing that. It's been a long day for me, but I'd rather, I don't, I'd rather say I finish this kit tonight than say, take like 15 minutes on the stream uh, on Thursday to do this. So we'll start fresh on Thursday with our new kit, uh, which will be the, um, let's see where this actually goes. Oh yeah. Uh, our new kit on Thursday will be the Crimson uh i'm very excited about that um that's going to be a very fun uh, kit the goof crimson custom uh because it's just lovely colors it's like so beautiful looking i'm very excited about that and the goof fucking rules the goof is a great mobile suit so that's going to be the kit i build on thursday because it won my poll uh i did think that my lego the child kit was going to win but it did not win. It got a vote, but two votes the other way. I only have a few $10 patrons, and not all of them vote. So it really is really uh, uh, skewed to what a couple people want, which is fine. But yeah, um, all right. We got things here to build, to, to do, and then the arms, and then we'll be done. Uh... At the scene after credits was dumb. Okay. I will take your word for it. Okay. 14 is the this one here. But yeah, I got some manga to read. Uh, for Thursday, I want to watch uh, at least one more thing. I, I need to finish a show. I, I want to finish the Faraway Paladin. Uh, I do know. Here, I can tell you this. Faraway Paladin. Uh, I thought might be in like my top ten. Not gonna be in my top ten. Uh, it it was high up there, and uh, I really really loved the first half, but the second half of it, I didn't love as much. Um, I know why they didn't make the first half like the whole thing and just really slow it down, but yeah, I'm I'm not too as thrilled with the second half as I was with the first half. So, I um. That is not making my top 10 anime list. But you will see my top 10 anime list in uh, January. I'll be doing a top 10 list. It'll be a video component and more coming up. But the next Pat Bears Anime Club, as I said, will be recorded live in front of an audience on Wednesday. It'll be my Wednesday stream. So I hope people come back for that for Pat Bears Anime Club live. Uh, my fall wrap up and winter preview many anime coming out next season uh and as i said plenty of isekai 
Action Isekai, and other. There's also a, a, a manga I never got around to reading. Um, uh, there's a couple fantasy. Uh, one of them is the, a guy that, like, he's like the crown prince. And he really just wants to not be the prince, so he's going to, like, figure out a way to get out of it. But along the way, he's going to, like, stumble in or do and still eventually do his best, uh, is what it seems like. And I was like, oh, that's kind of a fun idea. I'll probably check that out. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be good or not, but I'm going to give it a shot. Heard okay things about that. Um... Huh. Yeah, dirty. Th uh, I know like literally nothing about that movie, so I will take your word. Um. Okay, I'm not going to do the back of these. I'll do the back of these after, but I'll do the front so we can see what it looks like. I think I'll just do that because we're almost done here. So I'll off stream. I will do all of the rest of these stickers, but right now I'm just going to do the front ones here. You get a sense of what this looks like. Like I said, we're wrapping up here, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to like do this for like eight minutes on Thursday. I was like, no, we'll start fresh. Get people excited about that beautiful looking goof. Yeah. All right. We're just gonna wrap up there, and I'll take a photo of it with the shield next to it, and then I will off stream finish this up um all right so that's gonna do it for the stream tonight thank you everybody for being here i hope you have a great rest of your evening we're gonna go on a raid that is how we end every stream here as i said wednesday 9 p.m eastern is my next stream pat bears anime club live come back from that uh for that i should say we are gonna go and raid so i'm gonna go find somebody uh doing cool shit out there that we want to go hang out with um so hold on for one second while i find out who that's gonna be just uh, go there uh we'll see who is streaming on a monday night that we want to go hang out with uh oh mary kish is playing a uh, loop hero so we're gonna go raid mary because mary absolutely rules and has a great community and is uh just a lovely person so we're gonna go give mary a raid in just a second so you can come along on that raid uh with me that'll be cool and uh I hope you have a great rest of your night. As I said, come back on Wednesday. On Thursday, we're starting a brand new kit, so come back from that, because uh, that'll be very fun. And uh, I hope you have a great rest of your night. I'm just waiting for a second to load in and make sure she's not on a break, because if Mary is on a break, then we'll raid someone else. I don't like raiding people on a break. She's not on a break, so we're going to raid Mary Kish. Again, come hang out with us uh, Come on the raid. Uh, thanks so much for being here. I hope you have a great rest of your night. Uh, see me on Wednesday, see me on Thursday, take care of yourselves, be safe, enjoy the rest of the year. I'm not doing a New Year's Eve stream, but I am doing a New Year's Day evening stream on Saturday, so come for that. Thanks for being here. Have a great night. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye.